the cheapest coins on the web, go and check out igsky.com. Their link will be down in the description and use code CAPGUN for a discount at checkout. You're right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome to episode number 82 of Building Buyer. Now we're going to kick this episode off with a bit of a trading session. Yes, the trading session coming to you early rather than later. Now, I've sold the Emery cam from the last episode and then I was like, you know what, I'm going to check Inform Burnout's price to see if it's time to sell him on. Unfortunately, his price has continued to plummet and he's now less than 100k, which means I'm actually making a loss if I sell him on at the moment because I bought my original one for 100k. Remember, he actually was at 500k at one point. Now, as you can see, I've decided to go and try a price fix. Now, I don't do price fixes very often, but this seemed too good an opportunity to miss because there was a whole load up for about 95k, there was one for 100k, and then there was no more informed burnouts for well, less than 140k, so I was like, there's a big gap, I can pick up all these cheap and potentially sell them on for about 30, 35k profit on every single card, which is, you know, really, really good going. And just to show you that, I have gone and checked the price of the lowest buyout now on a burnout now, and as you can see, it's 140. So I've just picked up, I think it was four, and plus the one I already had in my trade pile, and uh, basically I'm just list them on for 135 each now. Um, hopefully they will sell on, hopefully the price fix won't fail, but that is an example of the correct way to price fix guys if you are interested in seeing how it works basically you uh, just try and find a player that has a big gap there's maybe a few that you can pick up nice and cheap big gap until the next one and then you can obviously buy all those and sell them on for profit you don't want to get into a situation where you have to buy like pages and pages of them because that's pretty dangerous going because you could end up losing a lot of money but with this I felt pretty safe and I thought it was a good chance to make some money so there we go the trading is done now we've listed one up for 135k we'll have to see if he uh, sells later on in the episode anyway we're in the gold cup I love the gold cup it's the thing that dreams are made of because the players in it are generally a lot weaker than your standard division 2 opponent which is what I am currently up against um, when I play in Division 2, obviously. Um, and you can see that we started off well. We got a penalty and we put it away. But unfortunately, Gomez there, his man of the match, Gomez, managed to get him back into the game, making it one all. But look at this. How did we get so lucky? Lam is sort of taken out of the box. He sort of walks or moonwalks backwards into the ball, turns and just smashes it in to make it 2-1. And then look at this. Robin just using that pace, gets past the Naldo and he finesses that one in to make it 3-1 and pretty much get us through to the next round. In fact, definitely get us through to the next round because the game ends 3-1. Good stuff. And now we are going to be in the final. Now, one of our burnouts has already sold just in that time, in that short little bit of time, just playing that game, it sold. I was like, well, this could really work in my favour. I can make a lot of money here because, you know, if I'm making 30k on each of those players and, you know, we've got like five of them, we're making like, I don't even know, loads of profit, absolutely loads. So um, yeah, fingers crossed everything will sell. Anyway, you can see here that we've got the stats on the screen for you. Uh, Muller is still our top scorer and top assister, but um, I'm thinking that I may try and get his third in form soon while it's in packs because that will be its cheapest and uh, you'll have to wait and see. Probably next week we'll be looking at potentially making a signing. We'll have to wait and see what happens because I still need to make a lot more coins to be comfortable in buying a big player because I don't want to, you know, put myself back down to 300k and have nothing to trade with. Anyway, final time. And this guy has legend Effenberg in his squad. And he started off really well because he managed to score against me and make it 1-0. But he made a horrible, horrible error. Look at that. Passes straight to Lewandowski. Through on goal. Finesses it past Neuer. And it is 1-0. Oh, good stuff. Now, uh, we see another chance to get through. You can see here, Ribery in the space, and Ribery slips that one past Neuer to make it 2-1. We're in the lead. It's the final. Come on, boys. Can we get the result that will get us the 2,000 coin bonus for winning it? Yes, we can, because here is Ribery. He goes through. He finesses it in, and I was just like, who on earth rage quits in a final? Like, even if you were, like, 4-1 down, I would stay, because you're in a final. You've had to play three games to get to this point. Surely you, you think that you might be able to get back in. There's a slim chance. You, otherwise, you're going to have to go back out and do all three games again. But anyway, he decided to rage quit. We get the result. He unfortunately denies us the chance to go to the winner's ceremony, which I really like. I like it when my players are dancing around in the confetti, but unfortunately that's not to be. And you can see there that all we get is the 2,000 coins plus the uh, match bonus. So that's not too bad. And uh, of course, we can go back into the arena and we are going to go and give divisions a crack. Now, we are in division two. As you can see, we've lost our first two games. Not a good start. Hopefully, now that I've done a bit of confidence boosting in the cup, I can go away and get a result. 
Well, I thought that until I came up against this team. Look at it. Second in form Sanchez. Second in form Aubameyang. Robin, he's playing man of the match, you rude, at centre mid, which I do crest, trust him. But who am I to question it when someone absolutely takes a dump on your chest? Because he was just far superior to me. I just could not do anything against this guy. You see there, Aubameyang getting the first goal in the 23rd. Then look at this. This is a lovely goal, I had to say, from Alexi Sanchez. Smashing it in near post after a lovely ball roll to go past my player. And then, yeah, he grabs it in the midfield. And then Alexi Sanchez is away, round the goalkeeper, and it's an easy goal. He wins 3-0, and uh, yeah, I'm still on zero points after three games. If I'm not careful, I will be getting relegated from this division, which is not something I really want to happen. But anyway, you can see that I had the majority of the possession, but he was just so good on the counter. Sometimes that's all you need, really, just to be really good on the counter, and uh, you can definitely get results against your opponents if there's someone who holds possession like I do. Anyway... We have now sold another burnout. We're on 709,000 coins. We've got three more to sell. I think two of them we bought, and one of them is the one that we originally bought for the actual series. And, uh, yeah, let's list one up, and hopefully he'll sell as well. Anyway, let's get back into divisions. I was like, you know what, I want to finish this episode on a positive note and get my first points on the board. So hopefully our next opponent is going to be the person that we can do it against. And after a little bit of a wait for him to get in, we're going to be going up against Barefoot Trout, Serie A, 4 one 2 one 2 squad. You can see he's got Inform Totti, Inform Lopez, he's got Dumbia, he's got Tevez. Yeah, looks like a strong squad. He's even got a non-upgraded but transferred Barbo at right midfield. Now, uh, unfortunately, it didn't start well. Dumbia, over the top ball. Just, oh, they, he can kill you all day long, Dumbia. Sometimes he can have amazing games. Sometimes he can be like a ghost and not even look like he's on the pitch. Um, and uh, unfortunately, this was not one of those games. He managed to get the goal early on. Then he puts Tevez through after we equalise. And Tevez, of course, smashes that one in. Tevez is a really, really good player. I've been using him on my wager team. And he has been absolutely killing it for me. Unfortunately, we end up losing that game. So we're still on zero points. We need to get four wins from our six remaining games. Otherwise, we are going to get relegated to Division 3, which is not something I'm interested in doing. We should be pushing for promotion, not for relegation. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Smash the like button if you have. Let's see if we can get this video to 2,000 likes. I'll upload another episode tomorrow. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all next time.